Hallelujah. We welcome you to the lesson preview class from the Directorate of Christian Education. Our lesson is lesson five. Lesson five. And the topic is the shepherd and his sheep. The shepherd and his sheep. Our opening prayer says, Father, give me the grace to surrender to you as my shepherd. Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask you, God of heaven, the grace to surrender to you as my shepherd. Father, please release unto me. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Our memory verse is taken from the book of Psalm 100, verse 3. Psalm 100, verse 3. It says, Know ye that the Lord is your God. It is he that had made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pastures. Hallelujah. The believers are the sheep. We are the sheep of the Almighty God. And God is our shepherd. The Almighty God, in his infinite mercy, has made us his sheep. He has made us his sheep. And he is our shepherd. I pray for every one of us the power to make him our shepherd. He will release unto us in the mighty name of Jesus. Lesson introduction. Our lesson introduction in Psalm 23 is an expression of our confidence and trust in the Lord. Each verse reveals the close relationship David shared with God. Psalm 23 shows the relationship that we have with our God. Metaphorically, David portrays God as a loving shepherd. He portrayed him as a loving shepherd. This is because being a shepherd himself, he knows what it means to cater for the flocks. God knows how to cater for you. God knows how to take care of you. So as sheep, you don't have to bother yourself because it will keep you safe and secured in him. Our Bible passage is taken from Psalm 23 verse 1 to 6. Psalm 23 verse 1 to 6. David's confidence in God's grace. This is the confidence of David in God's grace. Psalm 23 verse 1 to 6. The Bible says, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want he maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod, thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointed my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely, Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. This is the confidence that we have in him as sheep, that he will keep us safe and secured in him. He will keep us from the lion as our shepherd. He will keep us from the bear because he is our shepherd. Our lesson outline one says, the believer as a sheep. Understanding the believer as a sheep. We are his sheep. The sheep of the almighty God. So we should not bother ourselves. We should not bother ourselves because we are under the canopy of the almighty God. The term sheep in this context is used metaphorically, as we said, for believers. In Psalm 100 verse 3, as we read, we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. That is a metaphorical statement. It's not as if we are sheep, but God has a means of taking care of us. As a ten, he has a tender mind for us. That is why he is our God. He is our shepherd and we his sheep. A sheep is someone who obediently follows and totally relies on the Lord. 
Jesus Christ. We rely on him. We depend totally on him. The shepherd. In John chapter 10 verse 14. John chapter 10 verse 14. I am, he says, the Bible says, I am the good shepherd and know my sheep and known of mine. My sheep knows me and I know my sheep. A Christian has to subject himself to the leadership of the great shepherd. We have to subject ourselves to the leadership of the great shepherd who surely has interest. He has our interest at heart. He has our interest at heart. So we should submit ourselves to him. We should totally submit ourselves to his leadership. Anywhere he asks us to go, we should go. Anywhere he asks us not to go, we will not go. The Bible says in Psalm 23, he said, Thy rod, thy staff, they comfort me. Thy rod and thy staff, that means the rod of the great shepherd, it directs us. It directs us. It doesn't want us to go astray. In Hebrews chapter 13 verse 20, Hebrews chapter 20, 13 verse 20, the Bible says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that receiveth whomsoever I send, receiveth me, and he that receiveth me, receiveth him that sent me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we should submit ourselves to the, to the Almighty God's instruction, to the leadership of the Almighty God. And I pray for us, we will not go astray in the mighty name of Jesus. Like the sheep, a believer needs God. We need God. Every day of our life, every moment, every seconds, every microseconds, we need God in our lives for daily provision. Number one, for daily provision, both spiritual and physical. We need God every day, day by day. In Luke chapter 11 verse 3, Luke 11 verse 3, the Bible says, Give us day by day our daily bread. We need God every day, both spiritually and physically. Number two, for protection from predators. As sheep, we need God. For protection from predators. There are predators all around us. They are in our environment. They are in our offices. They are in our working place. They are in our marketplaces. But as sheep, we need him to protect us from all these predators. In John chapter 10 verse 11, John chapter 10 verse 11, the Bible says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. So God is determined. God is ready to protect us. He is ready to keep us safe and secured in him. He is ready to guide us from the lions around us, from the bears around us, from the snakes, the pythons around us. And I pray for you. I pray for myself. The almighty God himself will protect you in the mighty name of Jesus. We need God for direction on the right path. In Proverbs chapter 16 verse 9. Proverbs 16 verse 9. The Bible says, A man's heart devised his way, but the Lord directed his steps. God himself will direct your steps. Anywhere you go, God himself will go with you. Those places that God does not want you to go, you will not go to those places. In the name of Jesus. A believer needs the shepherd to save him from highlands. False prophet. Every false prophet in your lives, as the north is far from the south, as the east is far from the west, they will be far from you. Anyone deceiving you, collecting money from you, collecting money from you, draining you, God himself will remove you from those people in the name of Jesus. Fake pastors, heretical teachings, fake teachings, Apostate apostles, greedy evangelists, God Himself will take them far away from you in the mighty name of Jesus. Where the sheep only sees green grass, the shepherd sees hidden dangers. Sometimes, when you see yourself, when you see yourself in a good place, you, you see yourself in a good place that you think that those places are good for you, but the shepherd will see 
he will see dangers there and he will not allow you to go there do i pray that prayer for you that those places that god does not want you to go to you will not go there in jesus name hence without the shepherd the sheep is in trouble you will not be in trouble in the mighty name of jesus where the sheep only sees green grass the shepherd sees hidden dangers we have said that also a sheep needs the shepherd we need the shepherd every minute you need the shepherd every second you need the shepherd you need the shepherd whenever life is hard you need the shepherd when the when things looks like as if it's hard when things are going down you need a shepherd and i pray for you when things are wrong for you god himself will remove you he will take you out when situations of life is draining you i pray for you, you will come out from that situation in the mighty name of jesus in times of anxiety you need god you need the great shepherd in matthew chapter 6 verse 26 Matthew chapter 6 verse 26, the Bible says, Behold, the fowls of the hair, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into bands, yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Are you in a situation, maybe you have borrowed a lot of money, and you are disturbing yourself, how are you going to pay that money? I pray for you. God himself will pay that money for you in the mighty name of Jesus. For safety, you need a great shepherd. For safety, Psalm 125 verse 2, you need the great shepherd. When downcast, when you are downcast, you need the great shepherd. In Psalm 43 verse 5, you need the great shepherd. For help, the Bible says, in Psalm 121, verse 1 to 2, he said, I will lift up my eyes from, to the hills. He says, from whence comes my help? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Therefore, believers should always call on God as their shepherd. Call on God every moment, every minute. Call on him. He will answer you. Call on the great shepherd for help. Call on him for provision and he will answer you. In Romans chapter 10 verse 13, he will answer you. Class activity 1. Class activity 1 says the class should mention other times the sheep may need the shepherd. Other times that the sheep may need the shepherd. Hallelujah. Lesson outline two. Lesson outline two. God as the shepherd. God as the shepherd. A shepherd is a, a shepherd is a person who tends hearts. Someone who feeds and guards hearts of sheep. The feed is someone who feeds and guards hearts of sheep. They feed the sheep. They guard the hearts, what the sheep will take. They are the ones, the shepherd is the one that will provide for the sheep. Number two, a shepherd's primary responsibility is the safety and well-being of the flock. Their primary responsibility is that the flock, the sheep, are in good health. That the sheep is in sound mind. That the sheep is not going astray. Number three, God as a shepherd. Number three, like David, believers in Christ can call God their shepherd. You can call God your shepherd. You can call God your shepherd. In Psalm 80 verse 1, Psalm 80 verse 1, the Bible says, Give ye, O shepherd of Israel, thou leadest Joseph like a flock, thou that dwellest in the midst of the cherubims, shine forth. That is God himself. That is God himself. He says, give her, O shepherd, great shepherd that dwells in the midst of cherubims. Yes. Number four, Jesus Christ also calls himself the good shepherd. In John chapter 
10 verse 11. John chapter 10 verse 11. He says he is the good shepherd. Our shepherd, number 5, our shepherd performs his all important role in the following ways. In the following ways. Number 1, he leads us out and in so that we find pasture and safety. We find food. We find green grass. We find security. He leads us out. He guides us. Number two, he knows how to take care of our needs. And in the course of his grace and providence, leads us in the way in which we should go. If you see the people that guide the flock, you discover that they guide their animals. They don't want them to go astray. That is what God is doing for us. That is how God is protecting us. In Psalm 84 verse 11, Psalm 84 verse 11, the Bible says, For the Lord God is a son and a shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he be told from them that walk uprightly. I pray for you. Everything you need that you will make your joy to be full, God himself will give to you in the name of Jesus. Three, he watches over us and keeps us from ravenous beasts, from dangerous beasts, from wild beasts, from lions, from bears, leopards, serpents, scorpions, pythons. God himself watches over us and keeps us far away from us. He keeps us far away from these evil animals. Number four, when we stray, he brings us back. When we go astray, the great shepherd, he brings us back to him. We see that in Matthew 11, Matthew 12, verse 11. Just as the shepherd brings the flock to the shade in times of scorching heat, in times of persecution and affliction, God becomes our refuge. In Psalm 91, verse 4, Psalm 91, verse 4, the Bible says, He shall cover thee with his feathers. And under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. I pray for you. As from now on, you will dwell in the sacred place of the Most High. Anything that will draw you away from that place, that dwelling place, anything that will draw you from that place, God himself will deal with that thing in the mighty name of Jesus. Our class activity 2, two, two class activity 2 says, Students should share with class the roles the great shepherd has performed in their lives. The roles that the great shepherd has performed in your life. You should share it with the, the teacher. The student should share it in the class. And as you do so, God of heaven will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Our conclusion, to enjoy the blessings of the great shepherd, we must humbly Follow as responsive sheep. The Bible says, humble yourself in the sight of the Lord, so that he may exalt you in due season. Be humble. Be loyal to him. Love him with all your heart. Serve him, and he will bless you. He will keep you safe and secured in him. As you do so, he will help you in the mighty name of Jesus. Students should take things Believers need God for our evaluation. Students should state things. Believers need God for. You should state things. Believers need God for. We need God, like we said, we need God for so many things. For protection, for guidance, for food, for refuge. And He will supply all your needs in the mighty name of Jesus. Our closing prayer says, Father, grant me the grace to follow your leading all the days of my life. Fa pray that prayer for yourself. Father, grant me the grace to follow your leading every day of my life. Every day of my life, I pray for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will follow God's leading. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will not go astray. Everything you need that will make your joy to be full, God of heaven will release unto you. You will not depart from his presence. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. God bless you. Love, share, and subscribe in the mighty name of Jesus.
Till we meet again, God bless you. Amen.